it's just dependent on delta. So if you get delta within certain range, you use a certain alpha. If you get it within another range, you get you use another alpha. There are two formulas for alpha, right? <coughs> Which are dependent on delta. So once you have figured out what delta is, you can use your alpha accordingly. Does that make sense? That's a good question. Make sure everybody understands what he is saying. So what he is referring to. So if you go back to algorithm 4.1, okay. Um, again, I think I've, is there an example or is there a problem in the assignment on this one? Oh, I have to. Hmm, alpha delta. Oh, I forgot to assign you problems from for this right ascension declination, is it? But uh, besides the example, bro. Hmm. All right, just look at such problem number four point one. Okay. Should have assigned you 4.1. There are you're given R different R's and you're required to find right ascension and declination. Okay. Can you go through the algorithm to figure out the right ascension and declination? Given, let's look at the first one. R is equal to Minus three thousand I plus minus six thousand. Find right ascension and declination. Can you guys do this on the exam? See, because this is a this is one of the easier problems to solve and get points. Otherwise, if you do everything related to orbital elements, it might be a little bit of a challenge. You've done this in class. Okay. Sure, I quickly. So this is your R, okay? Now the steps are pretty clear. Your first step is find R, which is square root of hmm? Oh, you know, so you can do either way. Now that's a good point he makes. You can either do this square, this square, this square, square root. You get R. Or I will also give you the same. You got it? Then the second step is L M M. Okay, calculate L equal to X over R M equal to 
y over r n equal to 0 over r. I don't expect you to remember this algorithm. <coughs> Is that clear? I will give you the algorithm or I will give you this model or I will ask you to uh, bring your own model. You don't have to remember the, the algorithm. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. okay. So you can do these, right? So you don't you don't have to worry about the formula. I will give you the formula. Don't make the formula sheet. Okay? No. Yeah, no formula sheet. I'll give you the formula. Okay. Hmm. Where uh my question is where you find n from? Hmm? Where you find n from? N? It's just n. What do you do when you find time out of it? Oh you want to So that's it. This is what is this? Degrees. No, no, what is this? Hmm? Hmm? No, this is declination. You have to always tell me specifically. You cannot just you have to <coughs> decide what is this? This right. Right. Yes. right. If I ask you specifically, you have to tell me this is it, this is it. Okay. And you should know as well. So try to do this. Okay. Um, the next to do uh, one eighty nine. Hmm? So you go say one eighty nine in the book. One eighty nine. Yeah, he gave us problems four point ten and four point thirteen. Okay. Is it one eighty nine or? Yeah, you put one eighty nine. It's four point ten. Yes, yeah, it's not 189, it's something else. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. That's not the page number. So it's problem 4.10, right? Mm -hmm. What did I assign you? Did I assign you something? I think I might have assigned you from... Is 
this is probably from an older version of the textbook. Um, because I 4.10 I have not I have not taught you. I'm not going to ask that. Number six. Yeah, so the bottom three we don't have to do, or <laughs> where did I get these? Good question. We'll come back to these later, okay? I don't think <coughs> I have. Yeah. <coughs> Let's look at these. Number, can you do number one? <coughs> given R with respect to geocentric equatorial frame. You are given R, V and E. Calculate the true anomaly theta of the earth orbiting satellite and if the satellite is flying towards perigee, calculate the inclination of the orbit. I just had a question. Hmm? You want us to knock out 4.10 and 4.13? No, you do, don't do that. Well, what about 4.16? Don't do that either. I think I've, I'll, I'll look up what I've actually given you. There is some, something missing in there. Don't worry about the, the last three problems. Okay. Number one, can you, have you attempted number one? How many of you all have attempted number one? Did you get it? It's simple. Number 10, number 1? You have not attempted? Hmm? Did you get it? How did you attempt it? So, R. 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 Okay. square the I get R. Yeah, I get K. And then T. Okay. And then B. And then B. Do you need B? Uh, e. First, let's look at theta. Yeah, the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is theta defined? Right, so? Yes, exactly. That's all. R dot E. And I, we did this just yesterday. R dot E is R E cosine theta. You know R, you are given R, you are given E, you have to calculate the magnitude of R, magnitude of E. That's it. Okay. Inclination, how do you define inclination? Go by the definition. So I will give you, I think I will give you algorithm 4.1 and 4.2. That should have everything. Wait, so, sorry, I was like, you said you need to do R dot E. Yes, but so it's cosine. Well, they tried to find this, you need to do cosine inverse. Cosine A equals R dot E. You need to just take E. Um, the inverse of both of them. Yeah, the inverse of both of them. Just look at yesterday's lecture. It's in there. See, it's, it's like I don't want to do the problem which you have not attempted. It's like you, if you don't, if you don't come here attempting the problem, it does, it defeats the purpose. Then I, there is no point in giving the assignment itself.
then I might as well just do the problems here and you can get the grade. So have you even looked at the lecture, looked at the assignment? Try to compare, try to do. See, it's it's such a simple, it's one step out of the four algorithm. <coughs> it's one step, as uh, Ian pointed out. R dot E is equal to R E cosine theta. You know R, you're given the vector R, you're given the vector E. You have to calculate the magnitude of R, magnitude of E and cosine theta. Only the, the only thing known, unknown there is theta. Inclination, let's go to the inclination part. At least look back in your notes and try to figure out now. If, you are, if I'm going to tell you everything, then what are you guys doing? Look back in your notes from yesterday. We discussed inclination. How is inclination found out? Look back in your notes. You don't have notes. Hmm? So what is inclination? How do you define inclination? No, no. How do you define inclination? Right. How do you, I want, I want the rest of you to tell me how do you define inclination. So Ian has figured it out, okay. Anybody else? Bakari, inclination. Okay. Anybody else? How do you define inclination? Ashley. This is, this is an issue. I'm pointing it out. I'm pointing it out. You're not. You're not taking this in. Just the day after tomorrow is your exam, and you're still not trying. You're still not sure what inclination is. If you know the definition, it's a two-line answer. You want the yeah. I don't want the equation. How do you get to that equation? You don't, you cannot remember the equation. Okay. But you, if you know how to get there, what is inclination? H and Z. H and Z or H and K, right? So it's, how do you, do you know H dot K is what? H cosine I, right? Yes. What do you know here? Do you know H? No. Hmm? Do you know I? Do you know H? H is H is R cross V. Yeah, R cross V, right? Yeah. H is, you have to calculate, this is what we need to. Is R given to you? Yep. V given to you? Yes. What is K? What is this? Huh? No, no, what is this? What is the thing on the left hand side? What is the result of that? Left hand side. Left hand side. Left hand side. Left hand side of the equal to. What will it result in? This will be H Z. Okay, H Z is H cosine I. Now cosine I is H Z over H, and I. 
find his word. Now I may ask you this derivation. I expect you to know it. K is so you're given R, right? R is given in terms of Rx I plus Ryj plus Rzk, right? What is K in terms of these? Huh? It is a unit vector, of course, but what is So this is x, y. So if you if you were to take, you want to take r as what is r given to you there? Negative um, six thousand. Negative six thousand. Hmm? Oh, that's a problem. It's negative six six three four point two. Six six three four point two. Hmm. Uh, I hmm. minus one two six one point eight J minus five two three zero point nine K. So can I write it like this? Come on. <laughs> minus, right? The second one is minus. Yeah. The third was minus. So can I write it like this? Just three numbers, or can I write R equal to minus six six three four two? Minus one two six one eight minus five two three zero. Can I write it like this? Uh, yeah. So what is k in terms of this? So when you take the dot, it is this into this. This into this, this into this. So only this thing remains, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, R, R cross three. Hmm? So you know, R, R. Three is also given to you? Yeah, no, it's only one. So V, you will get V here. If you write V, it will again be. There is something here, right? What is it? Uh, 5.7644i uh, 7.2 7.2? J J That's how it is, right? Mm -hmm. So you do this into this plus this into this plus Sorry, you do the cross product yeah, that's that's one. That's one. That's yeah, you get, got to get H as three numbers. <clears throat> okay, so H cross K is this into this. So this is H Z, right? Mm -hmm. So it's this into this. So you get this into this is zero. This is into this into zero. Got it? Yeah. So are you going to give us like a lot of, um, I guess, cross part uh, or like a cross cross part because it's so going to be used. Cross part of the calculator or something. That's a thing. Yeah, you can yeah. use you can use calculator for cross product if your calculators can do that. Why would you say that you use other different outputs? I mean, I know it takes a good bit of time if you want to do that for every every level. To arrive at this this, you can do whatever you want. But if I ask you the derivation, you cannot use your calculator. Right? Well, you know what I'm saying for the work at problems. Yes, for arithmetic, you can use calculator. So if you want to use calculators for this, you have fun. But see, the thing is, you need to know how to get there. And there is definitely a lack of effort. I think most of you are coming here unprepared. And only two or still, see, I gave you the assignment last week and only two or three of you have really attempted the assignment. And you're not coming to my office asking for questions.
And I'm going to repeat the class. What is the issue? Hmm? Ashley? It seems like you guys are really smart, but really there is very serious concern with regards to your commitment. You don't want to come to class properly. You are happy with your exam score. See, this is the problem. If I I am giving you easy exams to get you through, but I want you to learn the most difficult concepts. Because you are getting good marks in your exams, you are not attending class. There is something missing, you know, you don't understand education. The serious concern is that you don't understand. Especially when somebody is trying to get you educated. I am treating education and grade separately. But you don't care about education. You are only worried about grade. It reflects very poorly on, on your character. This has, I'm repeating this not to do, this not to do, you are not. If you don't come prepared, see if you, it's not like you are through, right? Because you did mid, well on midterm, you think you can come just once in a week or not attempt the assignment, come here. Hmm? All right. Next, let's do by the next. What What are the problems do you have? All right. So, so can we uh, hmm. can we uh, label? Uh, can we just like I know how to do it. But can we label this graph? Sure, sure. Right, so no, we'll if you look at it, sure. Yeah. Oh, show right. me the other one. I'll. I'll. Yeah. So the. Here, I would really like you to use a ruler at least. Okay. So I'm going to show here. Okay. This one, guys, pay attention here. Where do you start? Hmm? When you start your you can identify the geocentric uh, frame, the perifocal frame, right? Mm -hmm. The perifocal frame is not in here. You have to mark it. Only the geocentric frame is in here. What part of perifocal frame is here? Perigee. Perigee. Perigee direction. That's the P, right? Perifocal is PQW. So which which is the next one you're going to mark? Which one mark Q? W is what you want. W or H. I want you to mark first. W or H. So where is W or H? You see this orbital plane? Plane, plane. Frame and plane are different, okay? Always treat them as different. How do you mark the perifocal frame? What is... So how do you mark the geocentric frame? First. Hmm? You're given this, this symbol, right? What is that? Yeah, so that is the I, or I direction or X axis. Okay? Which is the next one you are going to mark? J. 
you're going to you're always going to mark which is known z then this is just perpendicular <coughs> always remember there are the first two are known it doesn't uh, necessarily go in sequence x y j here the known is this right the next is this so what plane if i ask you where is the equatorial plane what are you going to say equatorial plane equatorial huh? shaded area So nothing else is Equatorial plane, if I ask you, you have to tell me the shaded area. Orbital plane. The ellipse. Okay. We don't know whether it's circle or ellipse, but the ellipse, the ellipse looking plane. Got it? Now, I have given you the equatorial plane, I have given you the uh, orbiting body. So now you have marked this x, z and y, right, or i, j, k. How do you mark, how do you go about marking the p, q, w? You mark all of them. P, q, w, p, q, w. Yeah, you wouldn't need to mark all first to get your... No, no, no. Without marking p, q, w, so let's look at the first one, okay, geocentric you mark, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's a PQW. Mm -hmm. hmm? PQW has got nothing to do with nodes. P is given to you. You see that? Mm -hmm. Or the perigee direction. We're going to mark that. We're going to extend that. And that's what uh, Tori is. What you're going to do is, I think you've done it. Just extend this. Make it P. Yeah, I remember I made P. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is PQW. It is in the same E direction. Correct. E is the same thing. But make it P. Direction. Yeah. And okay. Q will be going. No, yes. first, then you mark yes. W. W would be? Would be perpendicular to this plane. That elliptical plane. Mm -hmm. That is the H direction as well. Okay. And then Q would be in the plane. Is it right to say that the W is coming out of the paper as well? No, it, there is nothing coming out of the paper unless the, the orbit was this. What was the paper? Hmm? Orbit was the paper, then the paper, then the W would be coming out. If it was, so if it was going like this, it would be coming out. If it is going like this, it would be going like this. So W. So it is right to say W is coming out. So it is right to say W is coming out. No, it's not. Here it's not. It's coming. It's going like this, right? The equatorial plane is like this. Okay. So the axis of rotation is this. So this is the axis of rotation in the paper context. Got it? The if the orbital if the orbit was this polar orbit, then your W would be coming up. If I did this a circle like this, perfect circle, it would be coming up. You see, <coughs> if I did this. And this is perpendicular to the board. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is the equatorial plane. Right? Mm -hmm. If my orbit, if W has to come out, my orbit should look like something like this. Yeah, and then it will come out. If it's an elliptical orbit or if it's a circular orbit, it has to look it has to look a perfect circle. You get it? Only then it is coming out. Does that make sense? So here your W should be perpendicular to this plane. To the orbital plane. And then you complete the Q. 
So I just had a question. Mm-hmm. Why was I going to pick up the book? I mean, the W was connected to to the theta. Like it was like like in the same same art. So it's, like it's in the book. That's why I was. We looked at the picture of the day. Mm-hmm. That is a small w. The omega you are talking about. That's not the w. This one you are talking about. Yeah, that's what that's what you said. W, right? No, no. This w. So this is omega. I'll never use a small w. So P Q W is this P okay. Q W. This is nothing but H. You got it. I'll take this one real quick. All right. So that is what you need to mark. I want to point out that when you mark the line of nodes, how do you mark the line of nodes here? So how do you mark it here? That's what I'm asking. Specifically, how do you mark line of nodes? Between line of nodes, there. In the equatorial plane. No. It is in the equatorial plane, yes. It's in both it's in both the planes. It would be perpendicular to the oh, spatial okay. axis of the orbit. It should be where the orbiting plane and the equatorial plane meet. Right, right. So exactly how do you mark it? That is what it is. How do you mark it? You see there are two points, these two there are two points these meet. You see this? You join those lines and extend that line. Join those points, this point, this point. You get it? And extend that line. That is specifically the line of nodes. Does that make sense? So if you just randomly draw a line and say that is line of nodes, you are not going to get points. And you may lose points for everything else as well. Because if your line of nodes is not correct, your cap omega is not correct. Right? Mm-hmm. Your small omega is not right. He's, 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 he's saying connected from one side of the loop to the other and draw the line. You see, there are. Again, look at this. Okay? You see this point? Can, can everybody see this? This point? Yep. And this point. That is the line of loops because that's where they're intersecting. Mm-hmm. You get it? Then the ascending node, which would be the ascending node? The gone up on the ascending the node. node. You have to learn to be so specific. The, the what is ascending node? It's the, the point where the it's yeah, it's a point. Okay. Where is that point? Which point is that? So it's the it's uh over the equatorial plane and over the frame they meet, right? Where they meet up there, right? This is the ascending node. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Because you see, this is the direction of the orbit. This arrow you see, that tells you which direction it is. Right. It's a point, and you specifically have to point that. What is the descending node on the other side? So when you do the line of nodes, you join those two: the ascending node and the descending node. You want to do on both sides by one line. So if I say ascending node. You're going to give me ascending node. If I say descending node, you're going to give me descending node. Gotcha. Okay. If I ask you line of nodes, there is only one line of node. So you can you have to tell me what line of node it is. Okay. Then the orbital elements. Okay. R you have to join R. R is not 
indicated here. You need to indicate R, theta, all those things. Alright? Any questions? What is A equal to that? Right, so what you do is A, that's a very good thing. How do you mark A here? You just draw the opposite theory, right? No, that is, it is not in the equatorial plane, it's the orbital plane. So it should be between You join the perigee and the No, that will be, that will not A. This is not the, it's not the center. This, what is this point? That's the focus. So if you join that, that is not A. How do you indicate A? If you join perigee and apogee, what is that? Two A. So you indicate two A. Here you don't know where the center is. You know only you. You for sure know where focus is. You don't know where the center. Is. Right? Yeah. So, but you know where perigee is. Diagonally opposite would be the apogee, right? Yeah. So, if you just extend that line, wherever that line meets on the orbital plane, that would be the apogee. That that line is called the apse apse line. So, the length of the apse line from perigee to apogee is two a. So you can indicate more uh, semi vector axis. If you give me two A, that's fine. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.